Well, 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 when you have it, we are back with another Flight Club package. It is January 2023, although it still feels like 2019 has just arrived into 2020. But I guess time is just becoming a blur, and that's what happens with age, right? And I'm getting old. With a new year having arrived, we have quite a whirlwind of new blends and products coming in through the pipeline, and we are quite excited to allow you, our Flight Club members, to have a taste as well as speaking on new content. We do have some new blends this month and excited to discuss. So without further ado, let's jump right into this month's Flight Club package. As we are in January, we have a clean slate for what's to come, thus a clean slate for the new year. And for our first Flight Club chocolate bar, we are going to be tasting Hands Off My Chocolate. Hands Off My Chocolate right here, we got a seriously dark, seriously dark, 85% dark chocolate bar, although for an 85% it is exceptionally smooth and doesn't taste quite as bitter as you might expect. This is Hands Off My Chocolate's darkest chocolate that they produce, and they also have mastered a bunch of fun and infused flavors, as we have seen last February with our red velvet white chocolate bar. Hands Off My Chocolate was founded in 2013 by Kitty Smeden, working with the Cocoa Horizons program, which is ensuring traceable, fair, and sustainable cocoa mass to Hands Off My Chocolate, which they are using to craft these fine chocolate bars with. These bars are innovative and quite simply too good to share. So I'm sorry, mom, but you will have to get your own. Due to the inequality between women and men in the Ghana and Ivory Coast region, Kitty has pursued this Cocoa Horizons program specifically because they have a massive focus on women empowerment, specifically allowing them to become financially independent and being able to support themselves through their occupations as cocoa farmers. We actually have a really good clip from Kitty at Hands Off My Chocolate and her hands-on approach to visiting the farm in the Western African region here. I guess I should say hands-off approach, <laughs> but no, she is very hands-on when it comes to ensuring that the sustainability and traceability components, particularly the women empowerment, are actually coming to fruition when she visits Africa on site. So let's take a gander. I believe that everyone should have the power and the tools to dare to choose for themselves. We empower people to do that. Not only you as a chocolate lover, but also our farmers and women here in Africa who grow our cocoa. We work together with the Cocoa Horizons Foundation. This is an impact-driven program focused on improving the livelihoods of cocoa farmers and their communities in Ghana and the Ivory Coast. Cocoa Horizons works with 181 cooperatives and more than 150,000 farmers have joined these cooperatives. The benefit of working with so many farmers is that we can make a lot of impact and because from now our cocoa mass is traceable, we know exactly which farmers are being helped. The process of making our cocoa mass traceable starts with the cocoa beans and end up in our bars as traceable cocoa mass. The program consists of the following four components. Coaching farmers, empowering women, protecting children, and sustainable agriculture. Ne touche pas à mon chocolat. Hands off my chocolate. Innovative, fair, and too delicious to share. Some pretty great content as we just viewed. So that is kind of their mission practices. Plus it's also great seeing the farmers themselves being able to taste the chocolate that they are farming and is used to produce. So without further ado, we will be moving on to our second tasting of 2023. That was quite a treat. I love my hands off, um, hands off. So 
We will be moving on to our next tasting, and it is a brand which we have covered before, but not this blend in particular. So you may recognize the packaging and style. You say Mia, I say Made in Africa. You say MIA, I say Mia. You know, they're all kind of interchangeable names for this brand, so pick your poison, so to speak. But Made in Africa Chocolate, or Mia, as I will refer to it in the rest of the video, is an exceptional made at the source chocolate company. They are working out of Madagascar. Believe it or not, Madagascar is more than just a DreamWorks motion picture, but it is in fact one of the most complex ecosystems and environments in the world. Exceptional for growing cocoa, especially when it's processed at the source. We have covered Mia a handful of times in the past, some of their other blends, as well as their pure 75%. But this month and this year, we are starting things off with the salted almond and coconut over a 65% dark chocolate. Also vegan, as is the hands-off, of course, no milk derivatives. This is, you know, a 65% dark chocolate bar and you'll have coconut flakes and kind of, you know, ground almond or almond pieces kind of generously sprinkled on the back in the molding process, kind of stuck in real nice, and you can get a nice generous helping with each little piece that you break off. We don't need to dive too much into detail when it comes to the foundation of the Mia chocolate brand as we have in the past, but I have come across a good clip which discusses their impact, how it relates and compares to fair trade, as well as what it is to make at the source. African farmers produce 65% of the world's cocoa, yet these communities do not even benefit from 1% of chocolate production. Mia Chocolate made at origin creates three times more revenue than the purchase of fair trade cocoa alone. Premium chocolate is perfect for Mia because it is at the heart of our brand promise, amazing food that does good. The cocoa in Madagascar is truly unique because all of it is fine flavor, a classification that is only awarded to the top 10% of the world's cocoa. Farmers ferment and sun-dry their cocoa so the chocolate makers can bring the flavor to life in the roasting, grinding, and tempering. Mia uh, means made in Africa. It's the perfect brand name that works in many different languages. It has a meaning, it is evocative, it sounds lovely, and it just looks terrific on the pack. The skills required to cultivate cocoa and craft delicious chocolate mean more jobs are created in Africa. This is our idea of amazing food that does good. Please join us on this incredible journey with Mia. The packaging of Mia is also quite exceptional. It's got kind of a box style with even more information on their social and environmental impact on the inside, as well as just some, you know, brand footnotes. So quite exceptional and thrilled that we can have another Mia product included in our flight club. So without further ado, we'll be moving on to our next tasting. Next up in this January Flight Club package, we have a new feature for you. This is Gold Ken Swiss Chocolate, and they have partnered with, you guessed it, based on the logo and name, I hope, Captain Morgan Rum, Spiced Rum. And it is quite an interesting and fun, exceptional blend. Goldken is a newer chocolate maker that we are working with and a little bit about their history. They were founded in Switzerland, um, right up in here, in Geneva, right by Lake Geneva in 1980, although they moved in 2011 to Le I Le Belle. Um, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I can spell it on the screen and I hope I nailed it. 
Gold Ken chocolate is exceptionally creamy and fine Swiss chocolate with a hint of modernity in it. So, you know, not only are they producing pure blends, but they've partnered with some of the finest liquor makers in the world to infuse in various chocolate blends. So a little bit about Captain Morgan first. Um, oh, Captain, my Captain. If you know what movie that's from, leave a comment below and I will personally include another tasting bar in your next month's Flight Club package. Oh, cap, my captain, what movie? But what's pretty interesting is that Captain Morgan actually was a real person. Um, he was estimated to be born in around 1635 and was also known as Sir Henry Morgan. His first name is Henry. And he was a privateer, which is a legal pirate. So he had partnered, or rather, the British government had commissioned him to kind of counter the Spanish colonization that was happening in the Caribbean. He became quite wealthy at the time, and, you know, I guess that just led to the kind of inspiration to name the spirit after him. The Captain Morgan rum itself is a... Caribbean rum that has some nice spice and kick to it and obviously because Captain Morgan, you know, was a pirate in the Caribbean area, kind of some inspo. But this is kind of infused and turned into a almost a syrupy Captain Morgan filling, which is, you know, more of a liquid filling. However, um, it is in a 37% Swiss milk chocolate. All in all, this is quite a fun and fine tasting bar that we've been able to include and happy that we can introduce you to Gold Ken with such a staple pantry product, Captain Morgan, and kind of, you know, introduce more of the chocolate and liqueur tasting world that is out there. But that just about wraps up the Gold Ken 37% milk chocolate bar with the Captain Morgan liqueur filling so we will be moving on to our next tasting so now that we have covered gold can we are moving throughout europe um so we will be departing switzerland not going too far but we'll be hitting turin italy and we will be tasting guido gabino's extra bitter 63 percent pure dark chocolate bar The 63% chocolate from Guido Gabino is a mixed blend of Ecuadorian and Venezuelan cacao. So nice little South American action going on and you'll be picking up pretty strong floral notes. But when it comes to bitterness and astringency, you, you won't find any of that. Another interesting note I wanted to bring up was that on the inside of this packaging, um, you will see a tasting wheel in here and kind of the directions that the lines are going further out on are in indicating that those are stronger tasting notes amongst this blend. So for example, you can see one of the lowest marks on here is fruit, like fresh fruits, because there's not as, as strong of fruity notes, but the largest tasting note is floral. So. You know, it kind of gauges different tastes and, um, you know, how they kind of mix into one blend, but it is an exceptionally aromatic flavor profile. And yet again, thrilled that we have such a high quality product to kick off 2023. We have covered Guido Gabino and a bit of their history in the past, so no need to reiterate any of those notes because we have more Guido Gabino to taste. So what we've included is a kind of a mixed mixed selection of Guido Gabino's Cialdines. Cialdines, they're um, small chocolate discs. Honestly, they kind of look like bottle caps. Next up, you might want to grab your reading glasses because despite watching a video, we have a great clip of Guido Gabino speaking about some of their practices in the cocoa industry as well as what it means to make chocolate however it is in italian so it is translated with um subtitles so you don't actually have to learn italian 
before reading this that would that would take too long we don't have time for that so what we're gonna do is just check out the clip with the english subtitles il nostro obiettivo è quello di creare anche dei consumatori informati dei consumatori che sappiano esattamente che cosa mangiano e che siano in grado di capire per cui abbiamo creato insieme a Domori che è un altro produttore di, di cioccolato di qualità abbiamo creato un istituto che abbiamo chiamato istituto internazionale chocolier teniamo dei corsi nelle nostre aziende per chi vuole imparare a degustare il cioccolato ci sono corsi anche scientifici ci vuole un'educazione sensoriale io sono convinto anche che sarebbe bello nelle nostre scuole inserire un'ora di eh, educazione alimentare già a partire dalle elementari e questo secondo noi è un po' la strada per, per far percepire effettivamente qual è la qualità e cosa bisogna fare per interpretarlo. It is pretty interesting, he does also mention their relationship with Demori who also is out of Turin, we work with them very closely as well and how they've partnered to put a larger focus on tasting chocolate and how it's more than just eating but more of the whole experience and the start to finish process. But the tasting experience in and out from Guido Cavino is tough to parallel given their vast selection of chocolate and Gianduja products. We will not be covering the Gianduja this month, but that is coming soon in 2023 and I'm quite thrilled and excited to get that together. So stay tuned on that. And with that being said, We've just about covered our Guido Gabino features this month, so we'll be moving on to our final product and our in-flight snack. This month, our in-flight snack is from Taste Artisan Chocolate out of Provo, Utah, right up in the Rockies. This is a 2018 Academy of Chocolate Bronze winner, and it is a mini chocolate bar, so you know, fits in the palm of your hand, almost, a little bigger. But it is a 58% dark milk chocolate bar with chai. The chai that's infused in this is a mixture of cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and cloves, right? Um, I believe so, and it is expertly kind of mixed into their dark milk single origin Madagascar blend. We have covered quite a bit of taste in the previous Flight Club packages, and if you are interested in that content, I will link that in the description below. But with that being said, we have just about wrapped things up for our January 2023 Flight Club package. I am excited that we have a clean slate for the new year because that means we have a lot more to bring to the table. Literally, we will be bringing things and putting them on the table for the set. So, a lot's to come, and we have a lot of new blends, features, and giveaways coming up in the short term. Thank you again for tuning in and staying subscribed, and until next month, you know the deal. Eat, sleep, breathe chocolate. Cheers.